Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you are going to learn about a few very important but not very well known Rails Active Record methods. And uh, this uh, group of methods that go together that, that are called aggregate functions. And what this allows you to do is to calculate various statistics and other information about your data. And we're going to be seeing a few examples and exactly how this is super useful for you. Okay, before we get started, let me quickly mention something. If you really like Ruby, visit my website rubyguides.com and get a copy of my book, which you can find when you scroll down on the page. You find a picture of the cover, you click there and you can get a copy of my book. What that will do for you is that you will know that you are supporting my work with like these videos and my articles. And also, uh, more, even more important, it will help you improve your Ruby skills and become a professional Ruby developer. Now, having said that, let's go back into the topic of this video, which is aggregate functions in Rails. So let me show you something. I'm gonna use this gem called table print, okay? And touch you so we can easily see the data that we're going to be working with. So now I'm going to open the Rails console. And I just have this alias, but it just means Rails console. And as you can see, we are in Rails 5.2. Inside this Rails console, we can take a look at the data that I have, a pre that I have prepared for you. I'm going to use tp for table print, so that's the gem, and then person.all. Uh, as you can see, we get this pretty table, and that's the whole point of using that gem, so we can clearly see what data do we have to work with. Now, what is this? Well, as you can see, we have a model called person, and we have 12 entries, 12 people, right? Of course, this use uh, random data, so we can see how this aggregate function works. So what is exactly an aggregate function? Well, you can see we have height, right? We have weight, we have age. An aggregate function let, lets you know things like what's the maximum weight? What's the maximum age? What's the average age? And things like that. So let's see an example. Let's say that I want to know what's the maximum age in this data table. Well, I can do personal maximum and you have to spell it out. So max is not enough. You have to say maximum. And then you have to pass a symbol of the column name. So if I want to know the maximum age, we're going to do maximum age like this. Okay? So here we go. We find out that the maximum age in this table is 49. Okay, well, that's cool. What else can we do? Well, how about finding out the average age? Well, that's pretty easy as well. Usually, what you need to do for the average, you have to add up all of the values, right? So you will need you will need a loop, and then you will need to divide that times how many rows you have, how many entries, and that gives you the average. But because Active Record is very nice and the database already implements an average function, 
we can say person average age. But you will notice something interesting here. This number, it looks kind of strange. What does that mean? Well, when you don't know what kind of object you have, you can always do dot plus, right? And that uh, tells us that we are working with a big decimal object. Okay, well, now how can we see this as an integer? We can do to i, and we can see that this is 34. So this is the average age in our database. Okay, let's take a look at another um, of these aggregate functions. Uh, that's going to be sum. So sum is for adding up the totals. Okay, so we can do sum h and that we add up all of the ages and give us the total. Very easy. And of course you can use other um, columns if you want. Right, so let's take a look. Uh, what else can you do? Well, here is where this become extra powerful. This is when you use the group. Not group by, but group. Let me show you what I mean. So if I print the table again, you can see that we have ages that are the same. So we have this person that has an age of 31. This person has the same age, right? And we also have this person has 42 and this person has 42. Right, so we, what we can do is we can aggregate this and we can say, hey, from the person or from the people that have the same age, right? Like this one and this one, William and Kate, right? Which one of them has the highest height or the highest weight? How we can do that? Well, very easily. We can do person.group and that is group, not group by, because in Ruby you have a group by method, but in here we have just group, right? We can group by age. And the next step is to combine this with our aggregate function. So we can do group by age, and then we can say, give me the maximum, maximum, and um, for example, hey, for that age. And what we get back is a hash, as you can see, where the keys are the ages, because we group by age, right? And the values are the maximum height or whatever other value or column we specify for that specific age group, right? So of all of the people that have 42 years, this is the maximum height. And of course, this is not limited to maximum. You can do minimum, minimum, or you can do average, average there. Of course, we get these um, big nums, but that we can fix with transform values. B. Oh, let's do this. Do I? There we go. And that's why it really helps to know Ruby well, right? Because this method is from Ruby. This also Ruby, right? And we get our 
groups with their average height. And this can also be gender. If we had gender like male and female, in this case we don't, then we can say, hey, from this table, give me the maximum age or the maximum weight for all of the males. How would you do that? Or, or the females? Well, again, you would use group and then gender and then whatever aggregate function that you want to use. Okay, so to quickly review, we have seen the following methods. We have seen average, sum, maximum, then also minimum, and group. And group, you have to use before. It can be combined with all of this, but you have to use it before this, okay? And all of these methods take a column as a symbol, the column name as a symbol. So these are the aggregate functions in Rails. In the documentation, this might be explained as calculate functions instead of aggregate function. But it's the same thing. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you found the I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you like it. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.